होगी parking view eh? it's fantastic I had to park here because apparently it's not safe at the edge over there at least that what the parking guy told me This castle was built in the early 16th century by the Sultan Suleiman in order to protect the city from attacks from the sea. Today there are a lot of modern warfare canals, probably left from the World War II. It's a bit windy here so I apologize if the sound is not really good. It has a stunning view over the Saranda Bay. It's very well preserved. It has a very nice restaurant. There will be some program later on. I hope we will be here yet to to visit the play they have here for the tourists. It's mostly Albanian traditional music and dances. They also have a small summer stage here for some cultural events. But unfortunately, the season is nearly over. 
so there are less and less events I'll walk to the other terrace also but I just wanted to see this stunning view from over here check this out And all the way back is Corfu in Greece. Let me walk to the other terrace. There is a better view of the town from that terrace, but this one has a better view of the bay. They say that this terrace has the most stunning sunset on the entire Union Sea But as you can see it's partly cloudy So we will see if we have a luck to To take a picture of some of the sunset here Look at this. And tomorrow we will go to the other hill over there and it will be in this same video but for us it will be tomorrow because now it's already getting not dark but the light is not as good as it should be there is a very interesting story about that other hill and I hope this wind is not ruining the entire audio of this video but this is simply simply stunning let me show you the other side of the, of the hills lots of lots of mountain basically when we go home we are going over there where that mountains make that V as the pass that I am going to also record it reminds me of the passes in the Italian Alps I don't know if that pass has a name but I call it Passo de Girocastra look at this Oh, 
So it's already tomorrow and now we are going to the other hill there is a old monastery over there apparently the road is even worse than the one going to the castle but we will see and the weather is cleared out so I think it will be a perfect time for a sunset photos I think we'll get in time there Let's go. Earth is not helping at all to be honest here in Albania there are many unmarked streets like this one it should be paved up to some point and then it will be a dirt road so let's see what kind of shape it is So far not bad, it's better than I thought it would be, let's see what's ahead of us.
not bad. Apparently they put some asphalt or concrete, I don't know what this is. It doesn't look like asphalt. We got a lot closer with our car than I thought that we would be. Okay, let's go outside now. So let's walk around the site. And I will tell you a few facts about this place and why is it important. It's quite windy. I really hope that you can hear me well and that the wind is not messing up the sound. So here it was a monastery of 40 saints. As you can see it's not in a very preserved shape. That is because during the Second World War Germans were using this hill as an artillery spot to protect the bay and then the British Air Force bombarded heavily this place and basically demolished everything. So I don't think we can blame them for that or maybe we can, I don't know. So the story, apparently the monastery was built in the second century and it was a very important pilgrimage site for the Christians in this part of the Europe. And in the year 320, there were some invading force coming to occupy the, this region. And 40 Christian knights were stationed here in the monastery and refused to leave. So they fight until the place was conquered. They were tortured, exposed to the element, harsh winters and according to the legends or the real story, it's not completely confirmed, they died here. So the monastery was called 40 Saint or in, in its original Greek form Agia Saranda and that is how the Saranda city got the name look at this stunning sunset as I, as I told you yesterday people say that this is the most perfect sunset spot on the entire Ionian Sea. The castle that we were yesterday is right there on top of the other hill. Okay, let's sharpen. Yeah. So it's a short drive, but as you have seen, it's not really a pleasant road. That is Saranda over there. Let me walk over there and give you a nice panoramic view from over there. And with that, we will conclude this video about Saranda. We made a drive through the city. We went to both of the hills.
and that will be all about Saranda. Oh, look at it. this video if you do share subscribe like and don't forget to visit Saranda and everything that is around this city like the Butrint and the neighboring Girocastro the Samil with its beautiful beaches we will also go to Dermi and Himara that will be in the next video or the one after that I'm not completely sure but with this I will just tell you, stay safe during this pandemic. I know it's hard to travel, but we are trying. So that was it for now. Until the next video, bye.